For the next exercise, I'm going to have some different numbers, and I'm going to make a smaller screen so, um, so that it's easier for you to see. So I'll only be showing you part of the screen, but do realize that it's part of this whole screen is what would be on your computer. So now, instead of showing you the entire screen, uh, the entire spreadsheet, it just makes it a little easier for me in this video to show you part of the screen. But this is the part of your worksheet that we were looking at before. This time I've added some numbers so that we can play around with some numbers. I just put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. in these columns. Now, let's. what I want to start out doing is adding up these three numbers. So let me go in cell D1, and I'll press an equal sign because I want it to do something. And I, what I want it to do is add up what's in A1. So I'll take A1, I'll press a plus sign, and then I'll say uh, B1. It doesn't matter if it's upper or lower case. Uh, Excel isn't case sensitive. And now I'll put C1. And now, if I press Enter, it should add up 1 plus 2 plus 3. So I'll do that. Now, one of the nice things about Excel is once you've done something, there can be easier ways to, to repeat that action. Here I added up one, uh, A1, B1, and C1. What I want to do now is, is do that same thing, but for this row, for this row, and for this row. The way I do that is, do you see how right now the cursor is a big fat X? It looks like a, a red cross X, except it's, except it's white. But when I put my cursor right here near the corner, actually right here near the corner, it turns into a, a thin X. It goes from heavy to thin, just like that. Man, I wish I could do that. Go from heavy to thin, just like that. So once it turns to this thin X, not a pointed X like this, not one with arrows, but just a thin X, then I can press down my left mouse button, which is just my regular mouse button, and hold it down, and then I can use that handle to go like this, and when I let go, it will do what it did here in the next three rows. So in this case, it took the three cells to the left, added them up. This took the three cells to its left, added it up. So when I click on here, it says A1 plus B1 plus C1. If I go down to the next cell, it'll say A2 plus B2 plus C2. Here it says A3 plus B3 plus C3. And here it should say A4 plus B4 plus C4. That is one of the most valuable features in Excel, is that once you've done an action, it can repeat that action on relative cells, cells like the cell you're doing it on, and uh, with, with a lot more ease. But still, we had to type in A1 plus B1 plus C1. Imagine if we were typing in 60 numbers. That would be hard to do. A1 plus B2, or B1 plus C1 plus D1 plus E1 plus F1, etc., etc., etc. Fortunately, there's an easier way to do that, and that's to use function. Let me add up the columns. In this case, I want to add up uh, everything that's in column A. What I can do is I can go down to A5, and I can press my equal sign, because I'm going to want it to do some calculating. And then I could just type in SUM, which is S-U-M. I could do that in either upper case or lower case. It doesn't matter, or mixed case. And then I'm going to say what I want Excel to SUM. And I can do that by doing a data range. I can, a data range, I'll press a left parenthesis. And then I can say, start with A1. And then I'll put a colon, and I'll say end with A4. So what I'm doing is I'm defining the top left side of the data going down to the top right side. In this case, it's only one column. Uh, so it's A1 to A4. And now 
I press my uh, closing parenthesis, and when I hit enter, there I've got the sum. The sum of 1, 4, which should be 5, plus 7, which should be 12, plus 10, which should be 22, and that's what we got, was 22. Now to do the remaining columns, I could just grab the handle and pull it sideways. And so the sum of this column is 26, the sum of column C is 30, and the sum of column D, which by the way is the sum of these sum, uh, numbers, is 78. Again, that 78 is the sum of our row totals. So that should be the sum of all of our numbers, our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All of those should sum up to 78. Let's see if I'm correct. I'm going to go here in cell D6, and I'm going to add, tell it to add up these numbers and see if it ends up to be 78. How do I do that? Well, I'm here in D6. I press an equal sign. I'll say sum, S-U-M. Then I'll press a left parenthesis. And now that I've done that, I'll say my top left cell is A1. And then I put a colon. And I want to go all the way down to C4, which is my bottom right data point. So C4. Then I'll press the right parenthesis, hit enter, and if we did well, we should get 78. Voila! We're doing great! As easy as that was, there's even an easier way to do that same thing. Let me show you how, the, how to do it even an easier way. I'll get the same answer, but I'll put it here in, oh, B6. So the way I'll do it is I'll press an equal sign, and then I'll press, type in the word sum, and then I will press a left parenthesis. And now I'll just click on the cell A1 and hold my mouse button down. Pull it down so that now all of my numbers are captured by marching ants. And do you notice that it's typed in for me A1 colon C4. Now when I let go, I can press my closing parenthesis and press enter and I get 78 again. So you can do it either way. You can type in the address or you can just highlight the, the cells that you want added. Either way works equally well. The sum function is just one of many different functions, hundreds of functions, that Excel has. Excel has over 80 functions that are statistical. That is, you just put in an equal sign, you tell it what you want done, you tell it where the data are, you press enter, and the answer just magically appears. So Excel can be very useful if you don't want to do a lot of hand calculations when it comes to statistics. But it turns out Excel also has an, uh, another tool. Uh, other than functions, it has a tool that's specific to doing statistics. Now, to find that, and your computer may or may not have it because it doesn't come automatically installed with Excel. It's something that you need to add in. Let's go to uh, up here to this menu where it says File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, Tools. Let's click on Tools. Now, when you click on Tools, you'll see down here where it says Data Analysis. Now, if the full, you may have to click on the little... Uh, double arrow there to get the full menu and data analysis is usually at the bottom of your tool menu. Now if you have it you're all set and we'll learn how to use this data analysis tool in, in a bit. But let's imagine that you did this and you don't see data analysis. Let me set up my uh, set this up again so that when we look we don't see data analysis and then I can show you how to install it. 